Right. Run! <laughs> Run, you coward! I bet you he plays Cloud in this city. All right, so we're going into uh, Ling Ling Frozen? Ooh, okay. Yeah, this match is going to be super spicy. As Frozen actually... I, had to, I think he beat Jen to get him, right? Frozen had a hell of a run to get here, so like... Beating King Ark is what got him in position here. Ah, okay, okay. All right. Frozen lost to Jen. Lost to Jen, okay. I was watching half, the, half of that match, and I'm like, oh, easy. All right, but Peach versus Palutena, I mean, these two are just queens in their own right. Both top tiers, both can pretty much beat the hell out of each other. It's... <laughs> This match is pretty, to me, it, it seems straight up even, to be honest. I feel like there's nothing in particular that makes, uh... Exactly, yeah. That makes either of these characters really stand out. They're both really good at controlling airspace. Mm -hmm. And they both don't really have that much of an issue killing. Although, I feel like Ling Ling's style of uh, Peach is going to force very interesting interactions. In that, Palutena approaching is always a weird case. And whenever it's not just like neutral air, you never really know what you're gonna get when you're finding Frozen's Palutena like in charge of the approach. D Damn! <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you know, right. and you know one thing is he put Frozen in position to get caught by that. Like Frozen was just so deep that he didn't really have a choice, and and now he has to make you know he has to close his deficit. That's one thing that Ling Ling's always been really good at. Like he's always had such a great sense of item play. And I feel like it's it's such a small facet of Peach's play that it doesn't get focused on a, a lot. But being able to have the the means to reach out to Palutena that far off the stage without committing to being out there with Palu is super important. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to get you know explosive flames. You don't want to get up aired, which is, you know which is a few just Palutena's amazing tools. And that's that that's super super helpful in this match to be honest. And we know that Ling Ling has the capabilities of maneuvering around Explosive Flame and Palutena herself when it comes to like being out there. So taking every little advantage that you can, always a plus. But speaking of, we don't even get a chance to see much of that advantage as this match has brought itself back to a pretty dead even. <laughs> Great job by Frozen. Actually, all right, he's going to clap at these. <laughs> Great job by Frozen. Actually, he's starting to adapt to Ling Ling's style. You know, Ling Ling being one of the... Uh, uh, I would say he's a more defensive Peach. You know, um, I'm going to play my game, force you to come to me, and when I do hit you, you're taking around like 60 to 90, you know? Yeah, Peach on the whole doesn't like dealing with zoning characters a lot, so anyone who's going to like hold back and camp harder than her, usually not that much fun. But as you brought up, Ling Ling has a lot more of a passive approach to the character's tools, and he has great reactions. So. Figuring his way around the more aggressive Frozen is... It's not foreign territory for him by any means, but this is still Frozen we're talking about. Like, this isn't just any run-of-the-mill Tri-State Palutena. Yeah, no. As Frozen, unfortunately, losing that last stock, man. Um, and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he wanted to, you know, he wanted to get as much extra credit as possible. But, you know, Peach at 72% is is pretty, pretty good. Palutena has some... Ooh, gonna go with the... I knew it! He, like, they, like I said, Palutena's love to catch you when you're in the air with that up there. Like, they love to read a jump. Okay, here we go. If there's just a little bit more stage for Ling Ling, Ling, Ling to do yeah. that, that actually could have been, like, terrifying. It could have been disastrous. Now, I don't know if that was just lucky happenstance for Frozen or if that just so happens to be like how Frozen's approaching this matchup. But navigating a lot of the battle on the sides of the platforms results in catastrophic reads. Holy crap. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, you okay? Fro Frozen, please. <laughs> Frozen, please. Now, the thing is that uh, one, one thing that I want to point out is that Frozen does play Pal uh, Peach as well. He does. He right? does have a little I think bit that's of Peach his secondary. Uh, and it's really, really good. So he knows a lot about this character. He knows a lot about what Ling Ling is going to want to go for. He knows to avoid down tilt, which he's doing such a good job of by throwing out these nares, right? You can't nair if you're not in the air pressing the neutral A button. Smash 101. <laughs> so it's doing a great job of avoiding Peach as well as... <laughs> Devin's just like, tell me more. <laughs> Devin, Devin did not sign up for this course. 
<laughs> He's only taking this for the credits. It's a, it, it's a great elective. Stick around. You'll learn, you learn a thing or two, kid. <laughs> Question, does attendance count? Maybe. Maybe. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, we're at Hollow's Pokemon League for game two. Um, I think a really good fitting stage for Ling Ling style of Peach in particular. Uh, we've seen that he hasn't gotten super combo heavy with this game so far, mostly because he hasn't had a lot of momentum behind himself. A lot of this has just sort of been frozen song and dance and Ling Ling trying to keep up with it. Yeah, that's one thing. Oh my god. But you know, the Frozen also just isn't giving Ling Ling an opportunity to start all these, like, you know, peach super combos, as I, as I like to call them. They're not regular combos, they're definitely super combos. We're taking like 80%. But right now, off stage, and I'd love to drop down Nair effort. Ooh, just getting tapped by, his, by the Umbrella. That's what I was talking about earlier in the stream. Like, Palatine has so many tools for covering high recoveries. But when it comes to the low ones, she's got to get in there herself. And that's such like a, it's such a risky opportunity, especially with Peach. Yeah, as we saw, and you know the thing is, like, Peach also can't use those platforms as well as Palutena can, I would say. And one perfect example, as we just saw, you know, Lin, Lin was just trying to recover. He tried to actually use the platform and just ate a backer straight to the face. I actually really like that interaction from Lin, Lin. Saw that just the short up there. Just, just back know, up, yeah. He didn't just back up. He got out of there. He moved all the way to the ledge, pulled a turn up, waited to see how Frozen was going to opt to respond. Because Frozen had two, react uh, two possible reactions there. Give chase or stay still. And both of those are really important pieces of information to take out of that little interaction. Like, Ling Ling is playing this game too for the long haul. He's not just expecting himself to win the game, he's expecting himself to take this whole set. And every little bit of data that he can collect on Frozen is gonna help to that notion. Exactly, you are 100% correct. As Ling Ling, you know, at first, this match kind of just seemed like kind of one-sided. You know, I'm like, Frozen may just kind of have Lin Lin's number. But Lin Lin doing what he needed to do, taking the necessary steps to adapt. Look at that. He understood that Frozen was actually just going to go drop down there, counter with an up air of his own, and... Oh, ooh, wow. All right, we living. We living. Good DI. Swinging that booty to the stage as we swing that booty and toss Peloton right back off. Okay. I like the float cancel Nair attempt. Ooh! He's so close! It's all a matter of whether or not Ling Ling can actually manage to end that the stock, but now sitting yeah, on the last. These platforms, both stocks, I want to point out that Frozen has actually killed Ling Ling with the exact same move. Ling Ling's trying to get off that platform, and Frozen, he just eats, eating a back air. Ooh. Like you said, Ling Ling's actually just, you know, like, I like the little two, the, the, the two nairs to wither down the shield, and then just slowly back it up, you know? When it comes to playing a player of Frozen's level, it's not just a matter of understanding what a Palutena's tools and how to react in those situations. It's figuring out what tools does Frozen want to use? Where is he positioned on the stage to use said tools? And how ready is he going to be given whatever situations are brought up to him? So the fact that we see Ling Ling constantly going in for these little checks, these little hits just to re uh, get a reaction out of him, and then whenever he is actually responding, we always see these larger hits. We've seen a ton of down smash in this matchup, plenty of plenty more back air than we've seen from previous Ling Ling games, and even in just the set thus far. Like, these larger hits as a matter of going for the trades matter so much more because Ling Ling knows that he can get away with those. I'm not sure how, how much he's getting away with right now as, oh my god. As he has opportunity to, while wow, using that dash attack, keep him on the shield. Can't hit it. Just beats you. That was actually a great op option from uh, Frozen. Thinking, you know what, if he fares, I'm going to beat him. If he doesn't, he's going to eat this. So, it was kind of a win-win situation for Frozen. Ooh, this is going to be a dangerous one. We're into the board. We're going to Yoshi's story for the next match. I feel like this is a really good stage for Palutena, so I'm curious to see what Ling Ling, like, opts to, to change in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Battle Palutena on Battlefield is insane. And I'm not so sure to, you know, to, to how good Peach... I'm actually not even sure what her best stage is, to be honest. Peach? 
Yeah. She can move around really at all of these stages super well. So Paige is one of those characters that, like, it's what is she like more, not so much as, like, what's, like, a true, like, fault to her play. That being said, uh, story, I feel like, is going to be one of these stages where if both of these players aren't too careful, they're going to explode. Like, Peach in particular can make really good use of the uh, triplats to sort of stave off a lot of Politana's pressure, slow down how she comes in from the air. But they're also, she has just enough room for her, for her own combos. And due to how tight in the blast zones are for Yoshi's story, those combos are going to be even more catastrophic than typical. Mm -hmm, but that, the question is, will Frozen give uh, Ling Ling the opportunity to do that? As we see them kind of just slowing this match down. You know, it's a, the past two matches, like right away, you're eating like... Both sides ate like 60%, but right here we're taking this a bit slow as guy as these guys just try and find their neutral footing on this on this stage, really. And keep in mind the ledge does slant, so it makes recovering interesting because it makes two framing interesting too. Both players are gonna have plenty of options at the ledge because of that little slant. Uh, like both Pelotena and Peach can cover mm -hmm. it really well. But I feel like Peach has a bit of an easier time when it comes to recovery. Like she could use Peach Bomber to move along the wall. She could. She has plenty of time to jump up, to air dodge. She has all of these little tricks that she has. Palatena, she's only really got up. Like, she can't get as schmixy off the ledge. So I feel like once Ling Ling is in control of the ledge, it's a much better situation for him. But the higher up the battle goes, I feel like it's still even ground. And right now, that's not where Ling Ling wants to be. He needs to take charge. He needs to take full advantage of the situation at hand. Frozen's already up two games. All the momentum behind him, and he's even been dictating this game three rather well. Regardless of the fact that stage controls has been sitting in Ling Ling's favor more, and the percentage is clearly sitting in Ling Ling's favor. None of that matters if Ling Ling is not able to secure the stock. And that's one of the things that, you know, makes Smash so different. Oh, ah, right how do you know he's gonna be there? That was the that was the future site, man. <laughs> that was the future site. He's like, I can see. <laughs> he knew Frozen My was man activated the shotting gun. He, he straight up just said, I can see you. Doesn't matter where you are, catching him, and this is the momentum that Ling Ling wants to run away with, you know? Um, unless you uh, back throw's not gonna Alright, blast yeah, zones. Yeah, You're man. right, blast zones. It's Normally, not like back throw wouldn't have killed, but... It's not even like they're small. It's just they're so close in on this stage mm -hmm. that, like, once you're out, you're out. And that, man, that, that definitely is going to help him as... Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's just unfortunate for Link Link. And we know that, Fro you know, Frozen actually just waited that out in order to punish him again. That was actually a great option, co you know, great option coverage by Frozen. It's like, you know what? I know you're in lag from this. I'm actually just going to set up for what I'm going to do for what I'm going to do to you next. Oh, part of me wants to believe that Frozen did all of that on purpose, too. I'd like to say yes. <laughs> Frozen can get pretty mental sometimes. <laughs> Other times, he does things he's like, hey, that worked. <laughs> right, we, you know, we see both of these players, once again, just kind of just going back to neutral as they try and get little little hits here and there. And then, ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, he ate that. Do we save Great jumps? Night. We save jumps in New York, Frozen. We save jumps. But unfortunately, Frozen didn't take that place. <laughs> nah, man. He didn't attend that one. Yes, attendance is mandatory for that one. <laughs> oh, I'm talking to my counselor after this. Alright, so we're coming back down to last stocks. Really bad situation for Ling Ling. Even though this game three has been looking pretty solid, Frozen's been keeping it really even. I feel like that's bad news for Ling Ling because... Oh my god! Yo, never mind! We just, load the, we just load the gun! Did he, like, waste his jump or something? Like, he didn't... He got stolen. Hold on. Hold that back real quick, because this whole interaction is Ooh, so good. Ah, toss. All right. Misses the tech over there. He didn't... Uh-huh. Yeah, I think he was just gone. Like, he came back at such an awful angle from when he got hit away, and part of that angle is because he missed the tech on the lip of Story. Yeah, and that's um. It's actually super strange. Uh... Palutena with is not even, coming he, back from he that. He didn't even try. That's yeah, no, Palutena just isn't coming back from that. Super weird, but and nonetheless. We, and it was great from Lingling to just actually throw the turn up there too. Just in case uh you know Pal, uh Frozen actually did try and jump, he would have continued. Yeah, he's staying ready. Yeah. Alright, so game four taking us back to Kalos. And this is 
it's it didn't pan out so well for Ling Ling last time, you know, as we saw Frozen actually just taking advantage of the platforms. And every time Ling Ling was on one of those platforms, he caught it back out of the face. And he lost his stock for that. So, I mean, Ling Ling has to make some adaptations here. Because he's, he, you know, he, he, this is game point for Frozen. And Frozen definitely wants to move on, move on to semifinals. Of course, this is... Well, this Loses his side. Yeah. So, like, this isn't just a matter of, like, winning the game staying in the tournament. This is a matter of staying alive in the bracket. They're fighting they're fighting to the death. They really are. Ling Ling's not allowed to go back home. Diablo. Smacks the living hell out of him. And unfortunately uses the float but gives up stage control for that. As we can just get it back. Great tomahawk. Ooh. I feel like for all the effort that Ling Ling does in trying to dance around the uh, space that Palutena can control, he's not spacing it well enough, and he keeps on putting himself right in range to be threatened by Explosive Flame. He's doing a good job of not getting hit by the projectile itself, but he's, but forced, he's, to, he's forced to react to where it is constantly. <laughs> and that mispositioning has been hurting him really badly, I feel. Yeah, man, I mean, he literally just ate back air to back air to back air to send him to this side. <laughs> and... This is what Frozen is capitalizing on, man. He, ooh, Peach Bomber, great. I, he, he knew that he was in lag from the Explosive Flame. That was, actually a great, that was actually a great coverage and a great option, to be honest. See, that's one of the things I don't like about Explosive Flame when you're fighting a player who's like really starting to turn up the heat now. And past couple of games, we've seen a lot more of an aggressive Ling Ling compared to the start of this set. When you're on the inside of that Explosive Flame, that's it. You're eating a punish. You have to hold that out. Because you're there forever if you whiff the explosive flame and your target's on the inside. As we see, you know, it just happened to close it. Great dash attack, knowing it's going to kill. And, and at this point, you know, if, if you're frozen, well, you know, what's what's going through your head? I, I, I would definitely think it's a little bit of pressure because you know that you have this in the bag and it's only one more game, but Ling Ling is just turning the hell up right now, man. A pair off the ledge, really nice from Frozen. Get himself just a little bit of initial damage. And I think that with, with the difference between what Lilling was doing before and what Lilling is doing now is that Lilling is being slightly more aggressive, and this is the situation that I'm talking about. Frozen wants to put Lingling kind of in between, you know, he's covering all the options above and below that platform and forcing Lingling to Right there. Oh! I think that was a misinput. I think that was a... Uh, he tried to make, do it fair, but he did like a down air, I think. He did down air, but like, if he was a little bit higher, down air would have caught. It would have been sick. <laughs> yeah, because then he would have popped up and then to the up air. Oh! Yeah. Optimal? Maybe not. No, he's eating sick, these! Definitely. He is eating these! <laughs> Bro, he's got to hold that, though. Peach can't do that much trying to uh, force the approach from the ledge. Take note how Frozen, time and time again, has been fighting for center stage mm -hmm. and then just reacting. He's letting the game play itself out because he sees that Peach can only approach in so many different ways, and he knows that. And even when he's forced to retreat, he's forced back to the ledge itself, but also a platform. So, so long as that battle is him forced back from center stage, he has so much room to maneuver backwards, but Peach doesn't get that. She gets bottlenecked to center, center stage where she doesn't have nearly as many options to react as Palutena does. Yeah, that's what kind of makes you wonder as to why Ling Ling actually didn't ban this stage. You know, New York, New York is a sensible state. We don't have DSR. Uh, so it's, it, it's it's interesting, but I feel like Ling Ling just knows that he was starting to make at slow, slow adjustments to how Frozen's playing. But Frozen, you know, taking this back, actually just, you know, he, this, this match looked like it was in Ling Ling's favor, but Frozen actually just turning up right now. And it looks like Ling Ling may, may have lost this one, but it's Smash. So the match isn't over until, until the stock you know, is depleted. Absolutely. And even at that, if Ling Ling manages to sneak out with this Game 4, that's still bringing us to Game 5. That's two really close calls that Ling Ling has had to make just to stay alive in this match. And that's something that you never want to happen when you when you're running to, when you're running a game five as frozen. You know, you the reverse 3-0 is pretty much one of the most demoralizing things because you know you have. Oh, no. I was about that for demoralizing. Yeah, I was like, oh. wow, ironic. Unfortunate. That's just rough. I think so he just uh, he just dropped and I think he, he dropped too low. I think that's just that he wasn't able oh, to okay. jump back up or up B. Okay, because I think that he. Oh. See. 
So he's going to drop from this point? Yeah. And he oh, air dodged. He air dodged too, yeah. Ooh. So even with just like a neutral air dodge on a directional, he still didn't have enough time to, to come back. 